As what's going on, it's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Day six, $2 a day series here. And uh, it's dinner time, and actually, I'm just doing the video ahead of time, but uh, I invited my parents over for dinner. Um, I made a Caribbean corn and potato chowder. It is off the charts, so no, I do not lie. This is absolutely delicious. And it made a good amount. I was like, should I invite my parents over? I haven't had them in a while. And I, I usually try to have them over on the weekend. And um, so this made a, this made, definitely made enough food for four people. And uh, I'm going to give you the recipe. And oh my goodness. It's, if I took this camera, let's see. Can you see that? Look at that, guys. It's got potatoes in there. Corn, coconut milk, carrots, onions. It is so good. And um, anyways, as I was saying in one of the other videos, that even if you're on a tight budget for food, you still can have people over. For instance, I don't know any time that I've ever invited anybody over for dinner and they didn't once say, what can I bring? Tell me what I can bring. It, it always happens. So, you know... Um, for my parents, I said, why don't you come over for dinner? I said, I'm making a, a, a corn potato chowder. Um, you know, I'd love to have you over. And uh, my mom said, well, what can I bring? I said, well, if you like, would you mind bringing some bread and a little salad for, uh, between, um, for my, both of my parents to bring? So they're going to bring over some bread so we can eat that with the soup. I thought that'd be nice. And a nice little salad, too. And... Most nine times out of ten, someone's going to say, tell me what I can bring. And you say, oh, I brought the wine or bring the bread or bring the salad. So, you know, invite your neighbors, invite your co-worker, invite two different people and, um, and, and have some fun. And, let, and, and if people offer to bring something, let them bring something. And that's how you get a nice variety and you have a good time and it doesn't break the bank. It's better than going out because you can have some good conversations and um, you can sit as long as you like. And um, I got something really special for dessert, too, that I made. So I took care of the entree and the dessert, and I let them take care of the salad. So win-win, uh, but this, let me give the recipe for this chowder and tell you how to make it, because you want to make this. Just put a pot over um, on, a, on about medium heat, okay, on the, on the stove, on medium heat, and heat up about um, a teaspoon of butter, oil, um, and then add in a cup of the diced onions, so I still have some onions left, um, two carrots that are diced up, and kind of saute them for about a few minutes, just to kind of soften them a little bit. They don't really need any color, but just to kind of wilt them a little bit. Um, so after that, add in one tablespoon of flour. The flour is going to help thicken and give it that chowdery kind of texture and feel in your mouth. So one tablespoon of flour, you just want to sprinkle that over the vegetables and, and kind of just give it a little quick stir. After that, add in three cups of vegetable broth. Um, whatever you have left from your, your free little stock we made from this, the scraps early on. If not, you can use water. Okay, so three cups of that. Add that in, stir that up. And then you want to just um, let that come. And then, excuse me. The three cups of liquid, then add in the one potato, about one large uh, potato. I dice that up, about, the, about a small dice, just kind of bite-sized pieces. Okay. And I threw that in the pot, and then I basically let it come to the boil. And then once it came to the boil, I just kind of turn it down to almost like a simmer, like a very, almost barely a boil, but simmer for 10 minutes. You just want to cook the potatoes. After that, I added in three-fourths cup of coconut milk. I finished up the coconut milk. And I added one and a fourth cup of the canned cream corn that I bought. So I used a quarter of a cup in the corn muffin, the corn fritters. And what was left was exactly a cup and a quarter of the cream corn. So I added that in. And then I just cooked it for about another five, ten minutes just to kind of simmer in and bring all the flavors together. I seasoned it with salt and pepper to taste because the stock already had some salt and then the cream corn kind of had a little sweetness to it. And uh, just season it in salt and pepper and um, bam, beautiful, nice chowder, four huge bowls worth, seriously. So um, yeah, make sure you make this, um, very, very tasty. And um, I, I've already tried it, it's excellent. But I'm gonna wait for my parents to come over and then we're gonna sit down um, and enjoy this. 
with um, the bread and the salad. And then stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what I made for dessert. You're gonna be really, really excited about that when you see what, what I did, because it practically was free. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me some comments. I enjoy reading them, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Remember to always eat happy foods. Take care.